Hello everybody, good to see you again in this episode, Handy Hacks for the Kitchen. So have you ever had that problem where you get into a cabinet and it's really, really deep and you can't find what you're looking for and I can't see what's at the back. So a lot of the food that you get probably goes off and then you can't remember it's in there. Here's a simple trick that I learned from my mama. All you need is a Lazy Susan. Put the Lazy Susan in the cupboard, put everything on the Lazy Susan so that it rotates around and it makes it easier to see everything in the cupboard. There you have it and you're never going to have this problem again where you cannot find all the stuff at the back of your cupboard. I don't know about you but I find this one really irritating. When you're throwing out the kitchen trash sometimes there's a hole in the damn bag and it leaks everywhere. So here's a simple trick. All you have to do is line the plastic bag with a piece of newspaper. It's going to absorb all the yucky liquids from spilling out everywhere if your bag breaks. Simple right? So some of you may have honey that looks a bit like this, where it's crystallized, looks murky and gross. Don't throw your honey away because you can use it forever. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that honey never goes bad? But they do have an expiry date on it. I guess maybe it's to make you all buy more honey. Anywho, if it does look like this, just chuck it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so it's still a little crystallized, so I'm gonna go for another 30 seconds. All right, it's done. Let's... Oh. <laughs> it melted the bottle. <laughs> Clearly I overdid it. I think another 10 seconds would have been enough and not 30 seconds. But at least it's not crystallized. So you get the idea, guys? Don't do what I did. <laughs> Some of you may have this problem where you have a stinky chopping board. Here's a really nifty trick to get that chopping board smelling nice and fresh. <laughs> I have some stinky onions on my chopping board so I'm going to take the onions off. As you can see this chopping board is nice and stained. Oh that, oh that does stink. Okay give it a quick rinse. Grab your salt, sprinkle the salt all over the board. Wait a couple of minutes so that the board absorbs the salt. Scrub half a lemon on the board like this. Squeeze the lemon so you've got a little juice coming out. Rinse the board. It smells nice and fresh, nice and lemony. Lemony, you know what I mean. Well, here's a really cheap and easy way to store your spaghetti and all you need is a Pringles container. <coughs> and there you go. And you could use it for an instrument. That's so stupid. Anyway, moving on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may or may not know that when you buy foil boxes, usually people forget about these little tabs at the end. When you pull out the roll, the whole roll comes out and it's damn irritating. So you push in these little tabs on both sides to prevent the roll from coming out. See? Doesn't come out. <laughs> you can shake it as much as you want. It is not going to come out, people. Some of you may have some cutlery with some hard water stains on them. To remove it, soak some paper towel with the white vinegar. Wipe the hard water stain off. I probably didn't put up enough. Oh, it really, wow, that comes off so easy. Holy shit balls! that really... This is quite satisfying. As you can see, the hard water stain is now gone. Now here's a really cool way to store your knives. A DIY, a DIY, a DIY way to store your knives. Anywho, all you need is a container and skewers. Put the pointy end at the bottom because you don't want to be jabbing yourself when you're grabbing a knife later on. You want to pack as many as you can in to make it nice and tight so that it holds your knives up. Okay, so that is nice and tight and all you have to do now is put your knives in. This is super, super easy to make and it costs pretty much nothing. I mean, how much do skewers cost? They actually sell knife holders like this in stores, which costs an absolute fortune. Total ripoff, if you ask me. I'm gonna teach you a way to sharpen your knives without using a knife sharpener. What I have with me is a very blunt knife. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I'll try again. Oh, that's really blunt and it doesn't work. All you need is a ceramic bowl or a cup or something ceramic. Put it on a 45 degree angle and you just bring it back and forth just like this. So I'm done. 
Dum. Dim dum dum. So I'm done. <laughs> ah! Okay. So I'm done sharpening. And that, that was a lot easier. There you go. See? Super easy. I think all of you know that Shuan from Tried and Tested loves, 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 loves unicorns. So this one's for you, Shu. We've come to the end of yet another episode. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our shows right when they come out before they hit YouTube. And you could also follow me on Instagram. It's RJT99. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Ding. Reach for me. Don't want to wait another day without you. Take me to higher ground. We'll be safe and sound. Reach for